I'm happy. Okay. Well, Joe, um, I'm Peter Spencer from Vet Fred. What I want to do is ask you about last season. You got out of jail basically last season, didn't you? Yeah, we did. We finished bottom of the league and then we ended up in the middle eights and we won five out of seven games. Um, but like you say, we got out of jail. It wasn't a good, wasn't a good year, and we're looking to uh, prove a few people wrong this year and start well. Uh, what are you going to do to make it different this year, though? Has the uh, pre-season uh, training been different? Have you got different players, of course? But what, what's the main factor to make it better this season? Yeah, we've brought a few new people in. Uh, pre-season has, it has been a lot different. Um, well, I think in ourselves, we know that we weren't we weren't good enough last year. I think what have you done that was different in pre-season? We, we've, we've changed the uh, strength conditioner. We brought Francis Cummins in, the uh, uh, new assistant coach. So. Uh, it's just, it's, it's obviously still rugby, but it's uh, just a different how we're going to play and just the plays that we're playing and stuff like that. So um, we're working harder for each other. We know that we didn't probably work as hard for each other last year, and we know that we've got a point to prove this year. It must be daunting when you're in the dressing room and you see some of these superstars of the game up against you, and witnesses sort of battling against the odds, aren't they? Yeah, you can say that, but every, everybody's human. It's just we go in there, we. Every, everybody plays rugby against each other. It's, it's not. It's nothing new. So we, we've just got to think of ourselves. We don't want to think about the opposition that we're going to be playing against. Um, just concentrating ourselves. Who's the hardest opponent you've been up against in Super League last season? Last season, I'd have to, I'd have to say uh, I can't can't narrow it down to one. It's usually because I'm I'm not the biggest. It's probably usually a. Definitely a second row, like somebody like Vinnie Anderson or someone like that, like a, a, a big bloke that like, don't stop and just keep coming at you. So that, that's the one where you just got to stand there and brace yourself and just get ready for a big collision. So a successful witness will be a top four finish or even the, the top half in, in reality. I don't expect to comment about that. But who do you think is going to win the grand final next season? Us, hopefully. Right, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> and you say that. <laughs> right, good. Can we just get one talking about Liverpool? No, we cannot. No, ask him the question. Oh, all right. right. <laughs> Where does he think they'll finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Leaving a Liverpool <laughs> Right, Joe, you've admitted that you're a Liverpool supporter, so I guess you're delighted when they beat Manchester City 4-3. Oh, I was. It was a good game, but the following week wasn't, wasn't so good. No. It's, uh, so where do you think Liverpool will finish this season? Um, I think second or third, we'll take that. Second or third? Yeah. Right. And when you see all those professional footballs and the huge wages that they're on, what, what do you think about that? And also, will you comment about how often they fall over and it takes forever to get up, unlike in rugby league? Yeah. Um, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Here he's coming. What's he doing? He's <laughs> starting to hang you there. We'll leave because you're a Liverpool fan. Right. We'll Particularly grumpy towards the end of the season as you were looking like you weren't going to make it. I've, I've already just got red again, oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 <laughs>